For the majority of people listening, video games have been something you've experienced or seen at some stage in your life. With that, we've also seen someone we know using video games as an outlet to relieve stress, anxiety, anger, and any other kind of negative emotion going on in their day to day. Even if you see those same people claiming this, while seeming to lose every last ounce of sanity while playing their quote, favorite game, and think to yourself, well, why are you doing this? Well, each time you'll be met with the same response. I love it, you just don't understand. So for each of you that has been in this situation of not understanding, here's an insight on someone who's not only chosen video games as a calming presence, but the same video game since seventh grade, GTA V. More specifically, I'm going to talk about GTA V Racing. This minigame inside of the massive sandbox world of Grand Theft Auto V has become a staple to the game's community looking for a taste of their Hot Wheel days 20 years later. For me, this game has been a constant source of excitement, joy, and peace throughout any test life has thrown my way. To get a better understanding of this constant that gamers find in their favorite online world and what makes it so special, I'm going to explain the way this exists in my personal experience. Let's get some background. I grew up in a small town in Northeast PA, the youngest in a family of four boys. And as fortunate as I was to be born into the life I had, I was never the most socially adept person in elementary school. I struggled making friends, sometimes bullied in ways that I'm sure most listening have. But to be fair, I was four or five with a bowl cut, buck teeth, and zero social skills. Plus, my mom dressed me, which really doesn't help gain any cool factor with the other students. And I told her, tucking in shirts wasn't cool. Either way, once seventh grade came, I had the entire world in my hands. Now growing, getting a slightly better haircut, and a fresh start at a new school, I needed to make friends. The issue was, I still didn't know how to do that. Thankfully, I started to get some athleticism coursing through my veins and gain some friends through sports. But as we all know, having friends in school and doing things together outside of it is a whole different level of bromance. Soon enough, I came across the game and star of this podcast, GTA Races. Myself, with the three other friends I just made, began to play every single day, competing, telling stories, laughing, and beginning to find new things to chat about in class. It was heaven on earth. Two years later, I decided to begin my freshman year with all of the friends I had made. I found out that I was moving far away to live with my mom. I was heartbroken for so many reasons, but the main one being the loss of people I'd built up the courage over the years to eventually call friends. We didn't know how much time there was left in that summer before I left. So we did the one thing we knew best. We hopped online and we started to race. Moments of these evenings would be filled with the deafening noise of silence. The excitement now feeling more like an anxious avoidance towards the inevitable. Yet we still played because there is the one thing that had not changed, the tracks that we played on. Hundreds of times before, we took the same corners, crashed into each other at the same spots, and fought over the same dumb things. And in this period of the unknown, it was nice to see that familiar sight, to hear those same sounds of the cars we always used over and over again. And that is the beauty behind the game you love. It soon isn't about the task at hand, the win you're striving to get. It's that familiarity and sense of home during a period for most that is constantly filled with change. We all are born into a 25 year sprint. Growing up, moving to college, away from home, building a new life. And yet there is that one place we could bring with us regardless, which for me will always lay between the red and white lines of the track. And by the way, if you're wondering what happened, if I moved and 
had to begin anew? The answer is no, I couldn't. And yes, I still play with the same guys to this day, still claiming the victory over the stolen years we were so thankful to be given back.